all-purpose Nick, coming August 23rd. Part 2, Making a Stool. This is my stool. In order for me to just sit down every day, wood had to be taken out of the forest and cut down to size. The wood had to then be shaped into specific pieces. These pieces were then assembled into a stool. And then the stool had to miraculously get to my doorstep. Literally thousands of objects had to be in play for me to just sit. So instead of me using all of these objects, I will start from scratch and try to make the stool just using my body. The obvious first step was to find some wood. So off I went to the nearby forest. It turns out that knocking a full grown tree with your bare hands is pretty fucking hard. Alright, don't die. Whatever you do. <laughs> wow, it is hard. Let me turn around. <laughs> Ride the tree. <laughs> so close. Yeah, wreck that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. Keep going. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job. After almost dying, I had the great task of bringing the wood back to the shop. This in itself took about five hours. The next step was to test the different woods and to see what my body could do. Honestly, there was a lot more bleeding than I expected. Really, because it hurts a little bit. I came to the realization that I needed to use wood that was soft enough to shape by hand, but still strong enough to hold my weight. I also decided that we were using wood that was just too thick. So I ended up going back to the forest and getting a few thinner pieces. This is Paul, a woodworker. With his guidance, I replaced his tools using designs that incorporated my body. He also happens to be my dad. Okay, okay. all right. So, uh, part of the project was uh, pitched to us as, a, uh, as an all wood project, uh, so that we were stripping uh, the whole process down to nothing more than human labor and uh, wood as a material. So there's no, no mechanical fasteners, uh, no glue, uh, no metal spines, um, no shimming. All the joints had to be snug fits since we couldn't use glue or screws. And since I can't make holes without a drill, we had to make channels on the side of the stool. Uh, hey guys, day two of this project. My teeth really hurt. My fingers, I have like small, small splinters in most of them. Uh, it also occasionally gets a splinter in the tongue. That has been um, an ongoing problem. We'll have to figure out uh, how to handle that as we move forward so we can get the project done. So, we rolling? Yep, yeah, we, are, we are going. All right, so it's, uh, it's day two of this uh, experimental uh, use of uh, Nicholas as a, as a tool here in the shop, and uh, it's going well. It's, uh, it's uh, not that I really understood what I was getting myself into. It took us about three days full of cutting, chewing, and hammering to make the whole thing. And it worked just like a normal stool, so it was a huge success. Even though making the stool worked out, I felt like I needed more to prove my point. So off I went to planning the next project. <laughs> 